Hello, I'm Dennis, the former sailor turned entrepreneur and English coach. Welcome to What's That? In this and every episode, we'll be focusing on four words related to a specific topic and see if you can guess what's that by the time I finish sharing all the clues. There are four steps in figuring out our target words. First, definition. I will give you the dictionary definition of the target word. Second, mind map. I will give you several key words that can give you hints and help you guess the target word. Third, alphabet lotto. Through the lottery, I will give you hints about the first and last letters of our target word. Next, I will reveal the target word so you can check if you guessed it right. By the end of this episode, you'll have a better understanding of these words and know how to use them in real life situations. So, let's get started with, what's that? Today's topic is culture. Ever wondered what brings color, rhythm, and stories to life? Join me today on this special episode and let's journey through the realm of creativity and heritage and see if you can guess what's that? Round one. Definition. The expression or application of human creative skill or imagination typically in a visual form, such as painting or sculpture, producing works that are appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. Mind map. Some related words include painting. Painting is when you use brushes to put colors on paper or canvas to make an image. Sculpture. Sculpture is when you make a three-dimensional image by shaping or combining materials like stone, wood, metal, or clay to create that three-dimensional object. Creativity. Creativity is when you use your imagination to come up with new ideas and make something unique and new. Aesthetics. Aesthetics is about how things look and feel. And it's important because it helps us appreciate the beauty and meaning of different works. Alphabet Lotto. Now, let's play the Alphabet Lotto. I will draw two letters that represent the first and last letter of our target word. Here we go. A. Our word starts with the letter A. T. So, our word ends with the letter T. Can you guess the word? Go on, take a guess. What's that? Do you have any guesses? If you said art, you're absolutely right. 
Art encompasses various forms of expression, such as painting, sculpture, and more. What's that? The expression or application of human creative skill or imagination. Art. Painting. Sculpture. Creativity. Aesthetics. Art. Art, based on what we've just learned, let's make a sentence that uses our key word. I just love visiting art museums and admiring the beautiful paintings and sculptures. I just love visiting art museums and admiring the beautiful paintings and sculptures. I just love visiting art museums and admiring the beautiful paintings and sculptures. Right, let's move on to the next word. Round two. Definition. The art of combining sounds, usually with rhythm and melody to create an expressive composition that is often performed by voices or instruments. Mind map. Some key words include melody. Melody is a tune or a simple collection of notes that sound good together. Ba, 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 ba. Harmony. Harmony is when multiple notes are played together to create a unique sound that complements the melody. Instruments. Instruments are tools or objects that some artists use to create sounds, such as a guitar, a piano, or drums. Song. A song is a piece of art that usually has a melody, lyrics, and other components like harmonies, and rhythm. Alphabet Lotto. Let's play the Alphabet Lotto again. I will draw two letters that represent the first and last letter of our target word. Are you ready? M. So. Our word starts with the letter M. C. So our word ends with the letter C. Can you guess the word? I bet you can. Give it a try. What's that? Do you have any guesses? Well, if you said music, I have to tell you that you are right. Music involves combining sounds and rhythms to create expressive compositions that can be performed using voices or instruments. What's that? The art of combining sounds. Music. Melody, harmony, instruments, song, music,
music based on what we just learned. Let's try to make a sentence that uses the key word. Susan is studying music and learning to play the piano. Susan is studying music and learning to play the piano. Susan is studying music and learning to play the piano. Let's move on to the next word. Round three. Definition. Written works, such as novels, poems, plays, or essays that have artistic or intellectual value and are regarded as having long-lasting merit. Mind map. Some related words include novels. Novels are long stories that are made by an author. Poetry. Poetry is a type of writing that uses words to create feelings and emotions, often with a specific rhythm or rhyme. Drama. Drama is a type of writing that is meant to be performed on stage or on television and tells a story through dialogue and action. Authors. Authors are people who write books and stories. Alphabet Lotto. Let's play the Alphabet Lotto one more time. I will draw two letters representing the first and last letter of our target word. Are you ready? L. So our word starts with the letter L. So, the word ends with the letter E. Can you guess the word? What could it be? L-E. What's that? You have any guesses? It's a tough one. But if you said literature, then you are 100% correct. Literature encompasses written works like novels, poems, plays, and essays that have artistic value and long-lasting merit. Merit is, means quality or value. What's that? Written works, such as novels, poems, plays, or essays, literature, novels, Poetry, drama, author, literature. Literature. So based on what we just learned, let's make another sentence that has our key word in it. Reading literature helps expand our imagination and knowledge. Reading literature helps expand our imagination and knowledge. Reading literature helps expand our imagination and knowledge. Let's move on to the next word. Final round.
definition. The transmission of customs or beliefs from generation to generation, often involving rituals, ceremonies, or practices that are deeply rooted in a culture or community. Mind map. Some related words include customs. Customs are the practices and behaviors of a particular culture that are passed down from generation to generation. Heritage. Heritage refers to the practices, beliefs, customs, and habits that are passed down from parents to their children. Generations. Generations refers to the people who are born and live around the same time period and whose customs are passed down from one age generation to the next generation. Rituals. Rituals are habitual activities that structure the lives of communities and groups that are shared by and relevant to many of their members. Alphabet Lotto. For our final word, let's play the Alphabet Lotto one last time. I will draw two letters representing the first and last letter of our target word. Here we go. T. So our word starts with the letter T. N. Our word ends with the letter N. T. N. Can you guess the word? Take your guess now. What's that? Do you have any guesses? If you said tradition, you are absolutely right. Tradition involves transmitting customs, beliefs, and practices from one generation down to the next generation, usually through rituals and ceremonies. What's that? The transmission of customs or beliefs from generation to generation. Tradition, customs, heritage, generations, rituals. Tradition, Tradition, based on what we just learned, let's make a sentence that has our key word in it. Celebrating cultural traditions brings people together and strengthens the sense of community. Celebrating cultural traditions brings people together and strengthens the sense of community. Celebrating cultural traditions brings people together and strengthens the sense of community. What's that? Okay, great job. You've learned four important words related to culture. Art, music, literature, and tradition. That's it for today's episode of What's That? Join us next time for another exciting topic and more words to discover. 
Goodbye for now. Art. 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 I just love visiting art museums and admiring the beautiful paintings and sculptures. I just love visiting art museums and admiring the beautiful paintings and sculptures. I just love visiting art museums and admiring the beautiful paintings and sculptures. Music. 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 Susan is studying music and learning to play the piano. Susan is studying music and learning to play the piano. Susan is studying music and learning to play the piano. Literature. 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 Reading literature helps expand our imagination and knowledge. Reading literature helps expand our imagination and knowledge. Reading literature helps expand our imagination and knowledge. Tradition. 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 Celebrating cultural traditions brings people together and strengthens the sense of community. Celebrating cultural traditions brings people together and strengthens the sense of community. Celebrating cultural traditions brings people together and strengthens the sense of community.